Police in Davis, California, are investigating allegations that a 16-year-old baked her grandfather's ashes into sugar cookies and, with the help of another student, distributed them to classmates, some of whom ate them. Davis Police Lieutenant Paul Droshov told BuzzFeed News that sometime in early October, the female student at Da Vinci Charter Academy allegedly baked the cookies at home, brought them to school, and along with another female student, handed the cookies to her classmates, nine of whom ate the sweets. Drishov, a department spokesperson, did not identify the alleged cremation cookie baker. The two students told some classmates what was in the cookies, but withheld a secret ingredient from others, according to Drishov and students who spoke to BuzzFeed News. Some students who knew about the ashes apparently ate the baked goods anyway. J. Johnson, a senior at Da Vinci Charter Academy, tweeted about the incident. Police believe the allegations are credible, Drishov said, and have questioned students and teachers at Da Vinci Charter Academy, as well as the baker's parents. Police have not been able to test the cookies for remains, he added, because they don't have the treats. No charges have been filed, Drishov said, and police are working with the school on how to resolve the matter. Da Vinci Charter Academy declined to comment on the incident to BuzzFeed News, and did not answer questions about what actions, if any, had been taken in response. In a letter to parents, Da Vinci Charter Academy's principal, Tyler Millsap, said that there is no health risk to our campus or to any one of our students and that the school regret, s, that this issue has been taken up by the media. Davis Joint Unified School District took a similar position. Those who were involved are remorseful and this is now a personal family matter and we want to respect the privacy of the families involved. The district said in a statement, according to two da Vinci students who spoke to BuzzFeed News, the baker received a suspension, and is now back at school. It is unclear whether her alleged accomplice was disciplined. Angelina Bogus, a senior at da Vinci, told BuzzFeed News that the baker, a sophomore, offered her a cookie before first period, but Bogus declined. She said she hasn't spoken to police or school officials about the cookies. The cookies were grey and they didn't look like regular sugar cookies. Bogus said. She added that it didn't take long for the secret to come out. Everyone around her told me not to eat it, and I thought it was inedible, Bogus said. I had it in my hand for a split second, then she said she had put her grandpa's ashes in the cookie. More unsettling than the cookies, she said, was the demeanor of the student handing them out. The craziest part to me is that she seemed unfazed and was bragging about what she did, Bogus said, saying that his leg could be in one cookie with a big grin on her face. That's when I handed it back to her and just was in total disbelief. Another student, who asked not to be named, told BuzzFeed News that he knew what was in the cookies, and ate one anyway. The cookies' texture was a bit too granulated. I don't think the ash incorporated well, the student said, but otherwise it tasted normal. Ash is ash, doesn't matter where it comes from. It really isn't that big of a deal. Andy Knox, a student at Da Vinci, told local news station KCRA he was on the way to environmental science class when one of the cremation cookie peddlers offered him one. She told him there was a special ingredient in the cookie, he said, which he assumed to be marijuana until she told him it was her grandfather's ashes. Then she laughed, Knox said. I didn't believe her until she pulled out the urn, he told KCRA. He ate the cookie, although it's not clear if that was before or after he found out what was in it. If you ever ate sand as a kid, you know, you can kind of feel it crunching in between your teeth. So, there was a little tiny bit of that, Knox said. Thanks, Blake Montgomery for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, Please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com. Once again, that is www.atthismall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever, but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can, so you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice, that helps to hold governments, 
companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow y e s h u a now.com Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.